Hello and welcome to Business Insider with Mario Taniguzzi on YYC Business. Joining me today is Maria Winslow, who is Senior Director, Life and Living with RBC Insurance. Thanks for joining us today, Maria. Thanks for having me, Mario. Well, uh, RBC put out a, um, a poll, a survey today uh, of uh, Canadians' uh, thoughts on, on different things. And uh, one, of, one of the things that I uh, was curious about, uh, the poll showed that 56% uh, are, are talking to family about future finances. Uh, um, this is kind of a topic nobody wants to talk about, right, uh, in the past, but do you see that trend changing? Yeah, thanks, Mario. You know, if we take a step back, financial planning conversation can be stressful for many people. It's easy to talk about the fun financial goals, like saving for vacations or purchasing a home, but oftentimes those conversations about how your finances are going to fare, if you had to live on one income instead of two, those can get pushed out for a rainy day that never comes. Um, but what our survey showed, as you, as you alluded to, was that 56% of people are now talking to their families more often about their children's future, their concerns about their financial goals and their debts, and that 28% have started to talk to their family about their family's financial security if something was to happen to them. 18% of them are talking about whether or not they have adequate insurance coverage. So we see that Canadians are having more frequent conversations about these difficult topics with their families that are all prompted by the challenges over the past year. Um, while a situation like a global pandemic doesn't happen often, and we hope it doesn't happen again in our lifetime, yeah. it has underscored life's unpredictability and the need to be financially prepared for the future. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, it, you know, in difficult times, uh, a lot of times people just kind of uh, head into the corner, you know, throw a, throw a hood over themselves and, and, and just kind of wig it out and hope things get better. But it just seems that now, though, that, that more people are willing to talk about it uh, uh, for, for whatever reason. Uh, any thoughts on, on why now in particular? Yeah, I think it's all of a sudden become real, Mario, that the, you know, when we think about um, our lives, our financial security, we it could get lost in our day to day, right? We're very busy, typically, um, you know, especially with young families and whatnot, every day, like just rolls into the next and, and you lose track of time. And what we found in this survey is, you know, while the, when they stop to think about it, majority of Canadians they express confidence in their family's ability to manage financially if something was to happen with them, even if they were to pass away without life insurance. But 26% said that they weren't confident that their family could pay for the necessities. And when we dig deeper into that, those that were least confident fell into the age group between 35 and 54. 32% of those respondents said that their family couldn't pay for housing. 22% said their family couldn't pay for food and clothing. And 33% said they couldn't afford childcare expenses. If you think about young families, their current situation might work because they have two paychecks or because one parent's chosen to stay home and take on those full responsibilities for childcare. So imagine the financial challenge in front of them if somebody passed away unexpectedly. And this is where life insurance can become an important part of family's financial plan. And I think that with the pandemic, this has become real for a lot of people. Yeah, as you mentioned, uh, uh, you know, uh, that 35 to 54 year old bracket was at least confident on on being able to pay uh, mortgage, housing costs, uh, etc. Um, any thoughts on why that uh, why that particular age group? That particular age group is is thrown into the, it, they're in the throes of, of life, right, with young families especially. So your debt is typically higher um, at that, that time of your life. Your kids are younger and you are incurring a lot of childcare expenses. I mean, childcare expenses can be quite high. And so it's it's that age group particularly that might be you know, not as secure in their financial planning as, as you know, those 55 and older. And so what we recommend at that point is really taking the time. So it's great that people are having these conversations, but taking the time to sit down with a qualified advisor and putting a financial plan in place so that you can feel confident that when the unexpected hits, your financial 
uh, your fi your family's financial future secure. You know, what we found was that two thirds or two thirds of people have insurance, but one third didn't any insurance coverage. And life insurance comes in a variety of forms that for some is difficult to understand. But there are term insurance products that are very affordable that can help bridge any gaps in your financial plan, particularly when you have a young family. And there are also permanent life insurance options um, for those that, that are looking to, to you know, the, the next horizon in their life when they need those permanent options in place. Speaking to a financial advisor about both your financial goals for yourself, for your family, for your kids, um, identifying those gaps and bridging those gaps with something like life insurance um, to help take control of those unpredictable situations. That's an important next step that Canadians should be thinking about taking. Yeah, one of the things I'm, I'm curious about, you know, we, we've talked a lot uh, here about children and, uh, and kids. And, uh, you know, when you look over time, uh, you know, children and kids really don't really get any, uh, I don't know, information or knowledge about finances and money until they're thrown into it and thrown into life, right? Uh, do you think it's, you know, parents should uh, should talk to their kids more about finances and uh, and perhaps even more so in, uh, you know, in school and even uh, talk a little bit more about finances, like real life finances? Absolutely. Um, you know, I, I have two young kids and I know in, in grade seven or grade eight, I can't remember which one, yeah. they do do this, you know, half a day where someone comes in and talks about real life finances, mortgages, how you prepare for that. Um, it, it's funny to watch kids like, you know, go through that and say, well, you know, I want to buy myself a really expensive car. And so now you have to go through that thinking about, well, what is is it that you know how much would you need to make in order to to get there i think that having these conversations making them part of your everyday is important i think it will increase the comfort for future generations to have important conversations with their families and loved ones when the time comes and and they're hard to do these these conversations about the unexpected are hard to do i know that every everybody's personal situation is unique um, you know, we all live in a neighborhood with the same size houses, but it doesn't mean that our financial goals and our financial plans are the same. Yeah. For us, when when yeah. we went through that period of time where we needed those two paychecks uh, to cover the mortgage and the childcare expenses, we sat down and we talked about what would the additional costs be to us if one of us passed away prematurely to help take care of the kids, to manage the household. And incorporating that in a conversation with a professional advisor is, is important because that is what will help prepare you for the future. And making sure that these conversations um, are not taboo, you know, is also important yeah. because it, it's something that if the unexpected happen, it gives everyone that, that comfort that my family will be financially secure and that, you know, it's something you don't have to worry about. Um, now, having said that, you don't have to worry about it, but you should periodically review those financial goals. That's important, too, because life does change. And, you know, the financial goals, making sure you're on track or making sure they're the same um, is important as well. But also when you have insurance coverage in place, it's double checking that that product is still working for you in the way it was intended, because it does come with options. Those products come with options that are embedded within it. So that can be exercised, you know, when your financial plan does change or, or if you're in that next stage in life um, to, to go on to that next product or exercise one of those options. And an insurance advisor can walk you through that and help you make those decisions. All right, super. Thanks very much, uh, Maria, for joining us today. Thank you so much, Mario. All right, super. That was Maria Winslow, who's Senior Director, Life and Living for RBC Insurance. This has been Business Insider with Mario Tanaguzzi on YYC Business. Thanks for joining us today.